posture number five. Look down at my feet, okay? And separate your feet about shoulder width apart. Turn the left foot out slightly and slide the right foot straight forward a little bit. Okay. Look at the proportions here. Really get an idea of where the feet should go. Look at the proportions, watch it again. The feet are separated from right to left. One foot turns out a little bit, the other one goes straight forward. Don't go too far forward, don't narrow it up. Okay, don't go too far forward and don't narrow it up. Just a little bit forward like this. Now from here, you wanna shift forward and shift is a common term in Tai Chi practice. And when we say shift, we're referring to moving the weight on one leg or the other. So when we say shift, we mean bend one leg straight in the other. That means shift the weight onto it or shift the weight back off of it. So this posture helps train you to get a good sense of shifting. So shift forward so the front knee is bent, the back leg is mostly straight. Turn the hips to square, another technical term. Square means that the hips, as if they had headlights on them, would go straight forward. And then bring the hands forward into a push position. Looks like you're about to push on something. From here, once you feel set, place the hands on your hips or on your lap and slide the hands down the legs. Notice as I do this, I'll shift back and stretch. Don't shift back too far. Just shift back until you feel the front leg stretching. From here, the front leg, the front hand pulls, the, pulls you down in between the feet and the left knee gently pushes the knee out. Right, let's get into it one more time. So from the push position, shift back and bend forward. Now when you bend forward, don't turn the hips. Keep the hips square or facing towards the floor and forward and stretch. From here, we'll form a big circle underneath us and then slowly come back up to the push position. This is posture five, shifting back, shifting forward and upper.